Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about factoring polynomials, which is also the same thing as dividing polynomials. So let's get to it. I'm going to jump right into a couple of examples because basically what you're going to see with these types of questions is something simple that's going to say just factor this polynomial. So I'm going to show you how to do that with a couple of examples. So when I see this polynomial, um, the first thing I notice is that the leading coefficient or the number in front of my x squared term doesn't exist, which means it's 1. So you can treat it as a 1. And so the way that you factor these is what's called the factor sum method. And the idea is you take and find whatever the product of your 1 and this number is here at the end. So basically you want to find the factors of 10 that will multiply together to get 10, but add together to get positive 7, which is your middle number. So multiply to get positive 10, add to get positive 7. So we're going to list out the factors of 10 and see if we can find that out. So the factors of 10, um, you start with 1 times 10, and then you look at the next ones, you have 2 times 5, and that's pretty much it. So you want to look at those pairs and say, can I find a way to get any of those two numbers to add up to positive 7 or subtract to get positive 7? And so obviously 1 and 10 are not going to work. But if I look at 2 and 5, if I take positive 2 and positive 5, well, 2 plus 5 is 7. So those are the two numbers that I want to use. And when you factor a polynomial, you're going to have the same two binomials. It's going to be something like x plus or minus a number times x plus or minus a number. And so that plus or minus number that you're going to use are the two numbers that you found right here, plus 2, plus 5. And all I'm going to do is plug them right in, plus 2, plus 5, and this is the factored form of that polynomial, x plus 2 times x plus 5. So let's look at a couple more examples. All right. I have a question that says factor x squared minus 2x minus 15. So I'm going to take the same idea. I'm going to take and find the factors of negative 15 because we always keep the sign in front of it that multiply together to get negative 15 but add together to get negative 2. So let's look at the factors of negative 15 to find out if we can see which ones work. So let's see, we have 1 and 15. And then we have, let's see, 2 doesn't go into 15, but 3 goes into 15 five times. And those are your factors. So I need to find the pair of numbers that I can somehow get to form a negative 2. Well, 1 and 15 are out because those are too far apart. But if you look at 3 and 5, well, 5 minus 3 is positive 2. So if I do 3 minus 5, I get the opposite. If I take positive 3 minus 5, I get negative 2, which is what I want. So these are the two numbers I'm going to use for my binomials. So I'm going to write out the form x plus or minus a number, x plus or minus a number, and I'm going to fill in these two values, positive 3 or plus 3 and negative 5 or minus 5. And these are my two factors. Here's my answer. All right, let's try one more example to see if we can get the hang of it. So factor x squared minus 9x plus 8. I need two numbers that are multiplied together to get positive 8, but add together to get negative 9. So let's look at the factors of 8. Well, I have 1 and 8, and I have 2 and 4. Well, if I look at 1 and 8, let's say they were both negative, because they could be negative or positive. Negative 1 minus 8. Negative 1 minus 8 is negative 9. That's perfect. That's what I want. These aren't going to work. So I know my two numbers. Let's plug them into our binomials. x minus 1, x minus 8. And there we go. Here is my answer. Now the reason these can both be negative is because when you multiply two negatives together, you get a positive number. That's why this at the end is positive 8. And when you add or you know add two negative numbers, your answer is still negative. Negative 1 plus negative 8 is negative 9. So I hope this helps when you get to factoring polynomials. 
This really works if the leading coefficient is 1. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to do it if your leading coefficient is not 1. So check it out, and make sure you subscribe and follow. Thanks. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.